This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate flight sim hardware solution, featuring the Orion HOTAS current and future configurations. Hello valued viewers, we hope you're all doing very well. A few weeks ago we filmed this AC-130 Spectra and A-10C versus the World War II Imperial Navy fleet that attacked Pearl Harbor. We failed miserably. We got over the target, we dropped some bombs and then we were immediately chased down by the World War II Japanese aircraft and destroyed. That left a very sour taste in the mouth and we want to go back to it because we don't like losing. You guys, the valued viewers, said in no uncertain terms, why don't you redo it with pilots that aren't sh**? So we're going to try doing that today, guys. So let's go over the plan. A quick reminder of the hostile force. They have six World War II carriers, nine destroyers, four cruisers, and two battleships. On board those six carriers taking off every five seconds, they have not the correct type of aircraft. I've just chosen A6M50 because they're going to be hard. They will act as bombers and fighters. There will be 353, the same number as in real life that attacked the Pearl Harbor, will be taking off on those carriers over 30 minutes. 75% of them, like these, are bombers. 25% are air to air. The bombers will go south for 100 and something nautical miles and attack the fictitious Pearl Harbor. The 25% fighters, which is about 80, 90 or something like that, will climb up to our altitude and try and shoot us down and probably do it because they did last time. Us, the attackers, we have our A10Cs and A10As. Our job is to sink all six carriers before these planes get a chance to bomb Pearl Harbor, therefore stopping the fight. We have with us today a much bigger squad. Cap, Simba, Apoc, Armchair, Cam, Fly, Francis, Mike and Scott. Say hello, boys. Hello, boys. Hello. Some of us, like me, are terrible hog pilots and will never be good, but some of us are actually quite good. So, we've got four bombing aircraft, eight and Cs. They are armed up with the following. Six GBU-10s, 2,000 pound laser-guided bombs with variable fuse and a T-Pod. Also the Gal 8 Avenger cannon and 35% fuel because they want to be as mobile as possible. As well as that, four air-to-air -air fighters. And this is where our tactics are going to change today. Fighters are in A-10Cs as well. We've got one reserve unguided bomb just in case the uh, other bombers don't do their job very well. And all we've got is a cannon. We haven't got sidewinders because we're really worried about firing sidewinders at warbirds near other A-10s. Probably we're going to end up shooting our own A-10s down, which have much hotter engines than the warbirds. So just cannons are going to be the air-to-air -air fighter guys. There's four of them. So that is our tactics. We are going to send in the bombers ahead of us. They're going to fly as high and as fast as they possibly can, do the bombing while the fighters protect them. That's what's going on today that is differing from what we had last time, guys. Now, that probably sounds very easy. A bunch of modern fighters against a bunch of World War II fighters. Actually, it's not. You see, here's the problem. These fighters are very fast. A6M0 was relatively fast. These are actually P-51D Mustangs. They're just using the Zero body to make them look like Japanese fighters. The P-51D was a very powerful fighter, over 1,500 horsepower, the two-stage supercharger, giving them probably about the same performance as the A-10C. Now, you guys at this point invariably say, but Cap, Wikipedia tells me that an A-10 can go at 480 miles an hour, whereas a P-51 can only go at, I don't know what it was, 410 or something like that miles per hour, i.e. much slower. And that's true. But bear in mind that those speeds do not account for a fuel load or a payload. When you add a payload of literally tons of bombs and tons of fuel, that aircraft speed slows down significantly, down to about two thirds. So in effect, if you load an A-10 up like this, it goes slower than the equivalent warbird. Hence why you keep seeing us getting shot down in these back in time type missions that we do. So that's where the problem is. Guys, let's just go over our tactics. We're gonna have the following members in the bombing aircraft. Simba, Armchair, Fly and Scott. You guys, as soon as you're gonna get in, full power and never come off full power, you won't be able to outrun the P-51 slash A6M, but you're just going to do the absolute best you can. Go as high and as fast as you can and never stop. If you're really tempted to dive onto target, I would suggest not. If you go at any time below 17,000 feet, you'll get killed by immediate triple A, as we found last time. So it really is a game of patience and staying as fast and as high as you can. The fighters are not looking to get into fights. We're looking to stick with the bombers, choose one bomber each and stick with them. 
Uh, there's more planes out there than we can ever shoot down. There's 353 of them, and they'll keep coming. So stick by your charge and just try and protect them. That's your job. You only get one life. If you die, you may not respawn because that's just how it is. We're going to do our best. Any predictions? I think we've got a much better chance than last time. Now we've got A, tactics, and B, manpower. We are going to die. Hmm. All right, guys, reminder, only one life. Uh, don't screw it up and be careful when you're spawning because I've spawned us dangerously close. Three, two, one, Simba. Off you go. We'll just sort of crash into each other immediately. Right. We have a tendency for doing silly things, don't I, boys? Right. I'm That's how we roll. It's very spirit. Yes, it is. I put myself on autopilot. I'm going to go and check that the fleet is working. I love this scenario, valued viewers. It's nothing better than fighting... Uh, World War II Imperial Japanese Navy thing because it's actually really hard to kill as we're about to find. Okay, the first zero slash P-51s are up. I'll be six up. We have had problems with the aircraft not taking off, so I'm just going to sit here for a while and check they will go up. Okay, planes, the next set are going. Yeah, this is working. It's working! Yay! Right. Always a bit of a battle, but okay, guys, there are already lots airborne. Woo -hoo! Probably 10 to 15 airborne already. Some fighters, some bombers. Last one is a bomber. Now, fleet. It's going to be a while before you see any fighters up there. It takes a long time for an A6 or a P-51 to climb to 20,000 feet. So you've got five to seven minutes before they even get up to you guys. Right, let's go have a look at my beautiful boys. Here we come, mother effers. Bombers, remember to stay above 20,000. 15 miles out. 20 hostiles out. Mainly Let bombers. Let the get shot down by the P-51s. Agreed. I'm riffraff. Look at that fleet, guys. Does that not make you friggin' juicy pants? It does with me. Look, four funnel cruisers. Three funnel destroyers. Two funnel destroyers. Hero, uh Aircraft carriers. It's the kind of thing I dreamed about as a kid. And still do dream about as a 41 year old kid. Okay, let's see altitude. Okay, they are they're starting to climb. They're in there climbing up to 1300 feet, but they've got a long way to go, boys. And now we know what we're doing. We've actually, we've actually got real qualified A10 pilots, which is surprisingly hard to find in Grim Reapers. Shit, yeah, don't would save it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get my own stuff sorted out. Gun pack on. Select guns. That's literally all I've got to do. Ha ha ha. miles apart. I'm so fast with any bombs, it's brilliant. Okay, they're up to 3,000 feet. 3,000. These are the fighters. Climbing as best they can. There are probably mm, 30 aircraft out now, 30 of the 353. The fighters are now up to 4,500, four so they've got a while to go yet. Scott's in the lead in terms of bombers. 20 seconds to go. Zeros are still taking off. Oh, it's so freaking cool. 20 seconds. has got the lead boat. Pickle. One more way from Scott. Here we go. First bomb out, guys. How exciting is this? This is where all our lasers conflict and it all goes wrong. Bomb out from Simba. Well done, boys. I'm guessing probably bomb about out. 40 aircraft up. 40 aircraft up. I'm typical. Now, remember, once we've destroyed a carrier, it will no longer spawn baddies. So one carrier down would mean one sixth of the uh, planes. No, Tricky nicely, that's, that's gonna, gonna be a hit. It's hit someone's face. Nice. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. Carrier destroyed. Which one was it? I'm gonna watch those carriers be destroyed one by one. Coming bomb. Looking. And destroyed it. I felt. Oh, I felt. I've seen one that's missed, and I've seen one that's hit. Yeah. One yeah, carrier. I... Still only one carrier down. I've got guys. Yeah, I killed the, the smoking one. Right. That one was already dead fly. You didn't need to kill that one. 
Right, come around again. Chop, chop. Five left to go. At least one sixth of the baddies are now dead. Right, fighters are up to six and a half thousand. They're a third of the way up to us. So we keep our speed, keep our altitude, we'll be okay. I'm going to turn back in, Francis. Copy. I would do if my autopilot would let me, which it won't. So, what's that all about? Altitude hold. Just push it all to half. There you go. We got it. We got the balls. Right, one carrier down so far. We need to do better. Baddies are at 8,000 feet. 8,000 feet. Perfect. Here we go. Five carriers left. Probably 50 to 60 aircraft airborne now. They take off at an average of one every five seconds. One every five Simba, seconds. Simba, I'm out. I know I keep saying it, but I do love this scenario, guys. It's so fun. Yep. Little Simba. Tracking armchairs. He's going for the middle one. It's going to be hit, Simba. Uh, armchair. Boom! Well done. Oh, look at that. You get a few decent... Oh, Simba's gone for the same one. What are the chances? Clever, bomb away. What are the chances? Be hey, mind. These things will happen. Two carriers down. One third down. Cap checking the hostiles. They are at 9,000 feet. Cap bombs. Uh, Roger. Bomb. Right, you've still got a while before. You've still got probably five minutes before these fighters make it up. It's going to be a good bomb. It's going to be a third carrier down. And half of the enemy fleet of... Uh, he's destroyed well done good hit brilliant work guys so much better yeah got him brilliant half the uh, fleet down i'm going to look for cap work 9000 10 11000 that's the worst one at 12000 feet slowly climbing 90 knots haha <laughs> Oh, it's too too close. Yeah, I'm gonna have go. to go around. Got time. Lovely day is bombing. Mm. Oh, that's a Mark 84. That's not even a GBU. Where did that come from? Yeah, my plane. Hold up. Right, following a GBU, but it is not tracking unless it's desync. No, it never track, guys. I suggest get a longer run-up distance. Let me just make sure it's not desync. Sometimes it can be server desync. Uh, 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 it doesn't look like server desync. No, nope. bomb just missed. I I don't get a track on that carrier here. 12, 13,000. They're nearly here. Look at them stalling. They're stalling trying to get up. Uh -huh. It's very hard for a, uh, a warbird to climb in a spiral like this. That's a him problem. Oh, there's one right next to me in Francis. Pickle. And it comes. I'm wondering why the bombs aren't tracking. You have to drop it at just the right ballistic for the sensor in the front here to catch. Uh, it's uh, actually a difficult thing to do on a moving target like this. Yeah, actually, I don't. Uh, tracking? I don't uh, do it automatically. I just oh, lace yeah. manual. Yeah, it's a bit, of a bit of an art form of doing moving targets. And these things are moving at 30 knots, so uh, it's fast. Yeah, I drop them very fast and with slight anger down. Right. And lace it immediately. All right, retain conversa conversation, concentration, and hit him. Two more to go, guys. Two more to go. I'm gonna check on the height of the baddies. Number rolling in on that same boat. Twelve thousand. There are fourteen thousand. The baddies are, but still not a threat. You want me to put one or two on it? You just need one. It's two thousand pounder. We'll go right I through put the one wooden, already. wooden deck. Following someone's. Oh, it's a Mark Eighty Four. I'm away. Guided. Someone killed one with an unguided Mark 84. Fair play. I didn't kill it though, annoying. Nice. Right, right, two more carriers to go. The cool thing in the A10, I see the other speeds of the other bombers. Mm hmm. Roger, watch out. So we don't bomb the same target. Right, this is a good one, Simba. If I'm assuming it's you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, right in the middle of the planes. 
Yeah, on fire. Yeah. One more, one more to go, guys, and then you are free to do whatever you want. All right, let me check where the baddies are. And the baddies are about to merge with us, so it's perfect time. It's 17,000. Uh, so any second now, we're about to get shot. You can see how, why we needed so many people. If this was just one person, like we had last time bombing, it's just not possible because you've got 20 zeros on you. So you need all these people. It's the only way to do it. All right, one more bomb, guys, and then we are uh, free to do whatever you want. Last one is on the way now. There it is. All right, here we go, guys. Get ready. See that lovely ladies. Stand by for a change of orders. It's not tracking, fly. It is. Is that desync or just the one I'm looking at? Certainly ain't tracking. I hope. Okay, well the one I saw when. Maybe three. Oh yeah, it was decent. It was decent. Well yeah. done. That's it, guys. Right, you're off the leash. Uh, before we do anything, uh, Francis, I want you to go and test the gunnery of the uh, uh, destroyers. So before anyone bombs anything, Francis, go and test the gunnery of the destroyers. That's an order. That. And then we'll be unleashed to do whatever you want. Uh, we'll try and take the whole fleet down. Do the whole effing village. I just want to see uh, Francis get absolutely smashed as he's basically being fired from his job. Let's make it worse for him. You are allowed to fire back. Yeah, that's gonna help one gun against all those ships. Give him breath. The rest of you start watching your back, they're up to attitude now. They'll be shooting you very shortly. Wow, they're all over France like a friggin' rash. I'm just gonna watch myself. No, I'm fine. Punching through the zeros. Oh, they're diving after you, it's so funny. It'd be like, Francis is too fast. <laughs> yeah, right. And you see it's going fast, but look, it's because it's got no bombs and no fuel. Far than much. Yeah. Horrible lag. Good luck, Francis. We wish you the best in life and DCS, which is basically the same thing. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh my god. Server's about to die, I think. Make the most of it. Oh, one oh. in the face! That's how good World War II barrage fire is. Basically, you put enough lead in the air, everything Ouch. will die. It was hard, wasn't it? I okay, guys. He's first into the water. Everyone, fire at will. Let's try and take all these boats down. Right, I'm going to try and. Uh, I'm going to turn yeah, into a fighter. I have a bomb on the leading ship. Watch it. Um, Francis, GCI please will just help people out when they're about to get smashed. Okay, you've got one passing right beneath your cap at 10,000 feet. Watch I'm just heading towards the plate. I just want to destroy get Destroy one ship. Well done, boys. It's quick. I've got a Mark 84 in reserve as well. Right. Oh, they're up with you. I see them. They're all up with you. Oh, man. This problematic is. Yeah, Pandora Mike, you're trading a P-51. Two P-51s. Coming to help, where is Mike? Yeah, Tally Mike. More Mike, you're in critical situation. Oh, 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 oh. Critical. You're in the shit. Just go, extend, extend, extend. Extend. Keep turning, keep turning. Flares Mike, Flares Mike. I need to see which one's you. Tally! Right, I'm coming. Oh, Mike, you're really in the shit. Ooh, look at that. I know it's tempting to lose altitude, but you, you really don't want to because you get hit by gunfire. I'm coming, and I'm clean. Okay, in case anyone's away. looking for the P-51s, just follow Mike. Yep. Oh, they're firing, they're firing, Mike! They're firing, ouch! I'm about to fire as well. I'm, I'm, I'm 30 seconds out. Come on, let me in. I'm here, Cap. Guns, guns, guns. Get some. Bomb away. Oh, my well, kingdom is in Two, three, four. Get him, yeah, get him. I, I just lured him out and you kill him. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> I just disintegrated the zero. Break, Mike. Break, break, break. That should be going in right between the stacks. I'll do oh, it. It's too hard. Right. Oh, sorry, Mike. I've twisted the joystick off his friggin' space. Now it's spinning around. Ah. That's what I mean, they're hard bastards. 
Did right. you again destroy your win wing? Yes, twisted it too hard. Again. That's what she said. Mm. <laughs> no! Why can't I kill this freaking guy? You're still carrying a bomb for a cab to drop it. Oh, oh there. finally. Okay, I got my eye in now. Right. Oh, shit, cab. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. You got one on one there on your back. Okay. Armchair pickle. So have a screw, they're just disappearing. Oh shit, my flag is. Oh shit. Yeah, you got one on your six. Cap. Roger, Roger. I'm trying to stall him out here. And it's not working. Lose the bomb. Uh, uh, where's my button? There it is. Bomb lost. Bomb away. Oh, oh no! Oh, Dang! Ah, oh, got beaten fair and square, guys. It's hard, man. It's really hard. I'm going to have a kamikaze. Oh, I've got no hydraulics with a gun. But I could score manual reversion, guys. Where's the friggin' surface fleet? Ah, oh, there it is. I'll see you all in hell. Scott's check six six six. Cool. I think I'm gonna die. He's <laughs> lined up. He's lined up. Once they're up with you, you're dead. Nothing you can do, boy. On the plus side, they think I'm dead. They're not even gonna shoot at me. All about getting the bombs in in time before they get up there. How now, slow could they go at this altitude before they stall? They won't. They're an SFM. They literally can't stall. Nope. You stop before they do. So whatever you're trying to avoid, never climb. It's Always dive. All you can do is outrun them, and that might not even work. Which is why we die so much. Slowest kamikaze in the history of the world. It's kamikaze divine wind, it is, isn't it? I think it is. I am divine yes. wind. Mag is terrific. Got him! Ha <laughs> ha! In the face! Right, let's see who's still alive. How much damage can you do? There's a GBU out. Break, Scott. Break, break, break. Poor old Scott. Poor old Scott. That shit never climbed. Yeah. Always died. I'll chuck that GBU away now and just focus on surviving. Oh, he's right on your six. Oh, you're gonna die. I'm sure going in for a face run. Yep. Ah, got him! You can't, we can't beat him up here. Go for your final runs, go for your final gun runs, I suggest. Oh now. shit! F1 on my six. Yeah. And the flag. You overshot your scouts, nice. Ooh, flies in trouble. And the flag. Ooh, ouch. Wait, don't get me alive! Nice. He's pulled off, he's pulled off. Nice survival. Nice survival. Scott is actually in a good position. He's chasing, he's even chasing someone. Oh, he's behind me again. Simba's got a freaking bomb out, what a hero. Wow, I almost killed a destroyer, I'm chuffed with that. Okay, they've all got to your altitude now, guys. Let's see how many planes there are. Ooh, there are quite a few, and Pearl Harbor is going to get smashed, I'm not going to lie. About 50 Should made it through to Pearl Harbor. That's annoying. Oh, my cockpit is a little bit um, smashed. Oh, watch it, Scott. You got Scott, they're catching, they're catching. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Kamikaze, Kamikaze, it's an hors d'oeuvre. It does do damage. I almost took out a destroyer. The friggin' 12 ton A10. You should put a few jugs in it. Oh, they're so fast. Look, look at their speed 300 knots. Look at Scott. Oh, at zero is diving on me. Dear me. Zeros. Oh, oh yeah, shit. yeah. Yeah, Tally. Simba's just dead. And one of my engines. Oh no, still. You've going. taken half the service fleet out, guys. There was 27 ships in there, 27. And now there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and a bit. That's two thirds destroyed. Okay, I'm in the scissors with two zeros. These Severos are going 400 knots. What the hell? Something not right there. Okay. 
Oh, again. oh they're getting the dice. Oh, poor old Scott. <laughs> Nothing you can do. They were four. I clocked them at 450 knots at one point. I did 1% damage on that ship there. Well done. That's got down. That leaves Fly and Simba. And Fly is not looking pretty right now. He really isn't. Oh, shit! I have no useful advice for you. That's nice not to on Yeah, one of my engines died. The only thing that's saving you now is lag. Right, it's probably time for a face plant and use the Gow 8. Roger. How has Simba stayed alive? He's got some kind of Klingon force field. Look at me knowing Star Wars. Okay, Simba's running in. Klingon force field on Star Wars. Yeah, but... Right. Uh, it's pretty too far out, Simba. Don't shoot for that far. They think you're dead, Simba. They're not shooting at you, so you've got time. Oh, no, I take that back. I really yeah, take that back. Yeah, definitely me think I'm still alive. Terrible shooting, Simba. You haven't hit one bullet unless that's desync. Which you might be. I don't have a hat or anything. Ah, uh, God saw fit to give you wings. Yeah. Ouch, Simba. But my gun. What happened working. to Simba? I see him. Oh, he's got little guys all over him. Oh, Simba! Collision. Your wings fell off. So did he. Fly, it's all up to you. Do a thing. Roger. Oh, we just did it, guys. We just did it. Yes, yes, yes. Kill that. Kill that son of a bitch. Use your face, use your face. Yeah! Oh! How about that? Survive. Go around again. The bullets are still yeah. landing. When, it, when I see your screen, How is that thing flying? Uh, actually, good enough. The problem is I don't have a pivot, so don't see where I'm actually flying until I see it on the surface. I your face. all my avionics. That is the worst thing I've ever seen, Fly. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Got him! Wow, look at how we just so much damage! Right, guys, I'm chuffed with that. Him in the butt pop. So, things to learn, guys, it's all about getting enough bombs on the carrier before the baddies get up. And you just can't do that with one or two guys. You need a whole squad of guys dropping bombs. Because once they get up, I clock one doing 450 knots, which is faster than an A10 will ever go. So um, that's how we do it. And I'm really chuffed. You all did really well, guys. Which is unusual because I usually have to shout at you about something and I've got nothing to shout at you about. Uh, any um, final comments from the Valued Boys? It's nice to get another War Games off the list. Another notch on my bed panel, as they say. That was good fun. That's wonderful news. I I'm really enjoying these, uh, I'm really enjoying these uh, War Games, so I'll cook up a bunch more. Um, next week we're doing um, the... Uh, Russian naval carrier group versus this. So that should be interesting. I'll let you guys go to bed. I'll see you later. See you, Cap. See you, Cap. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Cap.